No one can beat the odds of a random event, but many players devise a lottery strategy to circumvent the odds. The problem. Many of these methods are based on misconceptions about how the game works. Here are the top lottery strategy myths that lotto players should need to know. Myth number one. Statistics can help lotto players. In mathematics, there are two kinds of random events, dependent and independent. In the lottery, every single draw is considered independent. It only means that the previous 100 draws will not affect the next draw. Many players would try to pick the most likely numbers based on the frequency in the last 100 draws. The lottery doesn't work on individual numbers. You have to pick five or six correct combinations to win the jackpot. So the player should be looking at how combinatorial pattern works rather than the performance of individual numbers. And if you focus on the combination pattern, you have the math to back you up without laboring how the lottery performs in the past. In mathematics, it's easy to determine the best combination patterns through combinatorics and probability theory. For example, what is the best combination of low and high numbers in the 649 lottery game? If we divide the numbers into the following sets, low numbers equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, up to 25. High numbers equals 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, up to 49. Then, we will come up with the complete list of low-high combination patterns and their corresponding probability. The best patterns are 2 low 4 high, 3 low 3 high, and 4 low 2 high. Playing with the rest is just a waste of money. There is no need to check the past lotto statistics to build a similar conclusion. Mathematics will not fail us. The lottery is finite, and therefore, we can always see what's working using probability theory. Myth number two. All combinations have the same odds. Understand that this traditional belief is the one restricting you from looking at the lottery from a different perspective. We grew up and were educated by the principle that each number has an equal chance of being drawn as any other number in the number field. It's true. However, that doesn't mean you are helpless. Surely you have no power to manipulate the probability, and you cannot beat the odds of your lotto game. Nonetheless, you have the power to choose your odds. Number and combination are two different terms in the lottery in much the same way as probability and odds are two different terms in mathematics. Every number in the number field has the same probability of occurrence in a draw as any other. It's a mathematical fact, but you don't win the lottery by picking a single number. That's not how the lottery works. You have to choose five or six numbers and match the winning combination to win the lottery. Theoretically, all combinations have a chance of being a winner. Your odds of winning the jackpot prize are one against all the many possible ways you fail. In plain English, the odds are simply the ratio of success to failure. Odds of winning the jackpot equals success over failure. Of course, whatever strategy you use, the odds never change. But looking more deeply, combinations have different compositions. Based on the composition, we can group combinations into different classes or groups. And combinatorial groups don't exhibit the same ratio of success to failure. Let's take a look at the low-high number patterns in a 649 lotto game once again. The difference between the best pattern and the worst pattern is huge. The 3 low 3 high combination pattern appears 33 times in 100 draws, while the 6 low 0 high pattern appears only once in 100 draws. The ratio of success to failure is not the same. This vast difference in probability answers why 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 hasn't occurred yet in the lottery. What you will see next are theoretical calculations that closely match the actual results. In Australian Tats Lotto 645, there are 601 draws from January 7, 2006 to July 15, 2017. The theoretical calculation always matches that of the actual results. In US Powerball 569, there are 175 draws from October 7, 2015 to July 15, 2017. As always, theoretical calculation and the actual results are closely matched. In Euro Millions 550, 
there are 1,009 draws from April 16, 2004 to July 14, 2017. As expected, the actual results always agree with the theoretical calculation. In Irish Lottery 647, there are 194 draws from September 5, 2015, to July 15, 2017. As you see, the actual results and the theoretical estimation closely agree together. In Euro Jackpot 550 game, there are 277 draws from March 23, 2012 to July 14, 2017. You can see a close agreement between theoretical and the actual results. In UK Lotto 659, there are 182 draws from October 10, 2015 to July 15, 2017. There is a close match between theoretical calculation and the actual results. In the US Mega Millions game, there are 390 draws from October 22, 2013 to July 14, 2017. As you see, the actual results didn't go too far from the mathematical expectation. The data show that the difference between the best combination pattern and the worst combination pattern is huge. Studies of the lottery prove that combinations, depending on their type, exhibit a different ratio of success to failure. Using a lottery codex calculator, you will see the bad, the worst, and the best patterns in your lottery system. Do not play the lottery until you know what works best for your game. If numbers are not your thing, you can always use a lottery codex calculator to make things easier. Myth number three, you cannot predict the lottery. The lottery is unpredictable, but you can predict the lottery to an extent. If you read myths number one and number two, you should already know that a winning combination follows a deterministic pattern. You can tell how a pattern performs in a given number of draws. To do that, we multiply the probability by the number of draws to get the estimation. Let's go back to the probability analysis of the Lotto 649 game regarding the low high number pattern and see how Lotto prediction is possible. We can predict that a zero low six high pattern may occur 19 times in 2000 draws because 0.00962512666 multiply by 2000 equals 19. In the same way, we can predict that a three low three high pattern may occur 666 times in 2000 draws because 0.33289911171 multiply by 2000 equals 666. It will help if you avoid the all six high and all six low pattern and choose the three odd three even number pattern instead. Ultimately, the most important takeaway is knowing what number pattern will dominate in 2000 draws. Surely, you cannot predict the next winning numbers but you can predict what dominates the lottery to an extent through its combinatorial pattern. Myth number four, hot numbers work. If you believe that playing with the most common winning lottery numbers will help you take the big jackpot home, then I've got some bad news for you. In probability theory, every number has an equal chance of getting drawn. For example, if a single number is expected to appear 100 times, then the rest are bound to occur more or less in the same frequency over a large number of trials. As the number of draws takes place to infinity, the frequency of each number will tend to converge in the same theoretical probability. This theorem is what we call the law of large numbers or LLN in mathematics. In layman's terms, the LLN means that there may be numbers that appear more frequently in the lottery from the initial draws. Still, the rest of the numbers will eventually catch up soon as the lottery draw continues to take place to infinity. Given a large number of draws, each number in the lottery tends to be close to each other and getting closer and closer as more lottery draws take place. Truth be told, it is the combination that matters and not the individual numbers. The rules of the game require you to combine four, five, or six correct numbers. So to have a better lottery strategy that works, you are better off counting the most frequently appearing combination pattern than tracking the most frequently appearing numbers. But as explained in myth number one, you don't need to review 100 past results. You have the power to know what will work in the lottery without statistics. Get your pencil and paper and work it out mathematically. Or, to make your life easier, use a lottery codex calculator. Myth number five, 
The number 13 is unlucky in the lottery. There are no lucky or unlucky numbers in the lottery. All numbers have the same theoretical probability, and therefore the only way to increase your chances is to understand how the lottery works from the probability standpoint. If you follow me on myth number 4, you should already know that the law of large numbers does not respect superstitious beliefs. Again, it is not the individual numbers that matter in the lottery. It is hitting the right combination that matters. But again, if you want to be lucky, make some calculations or use a lottery codex calculator. Myth number 6. Prime numbers appear more frequently. Here is another case of making assumptions but failing to explain how things work from a mathematical perspective. Players always have this performance of individual numbers mentality. Here is the complete list of prime numbers used in the lottery. Did you notice that the number 2 is the only even number from the list and that the rest are odd numbers? Mathematically, the best probability is leaning towards the balanced mix of odd and even numbers. Therefore, playing an all odd number pattern is not recommended at all. The 970 draws of the Euromillions 550 game from April 16, 2004 to February 28, 2017 show that the three odd two even pattern dominates the rest of the patterns. Clearly, playing all odd or using the one even four odd pattern is not recommended mathematically. If you are seriously considering winning the jackpot, then choose to play both the three even two odd or the two even three odd combination pattern. The table shows that wagering for all prime numbers is not the best approach at all. The same probability principle works in all lottery systems, whether you're playing the US Powerball, the Australian Tats Lotto 645 game, or the Irish Lottery 647 game. In the lottery, most of the winning numbers are composed of a balanced mix of odd and even numbers. Myth number 7. The better time to play is when the jackpot is big. When the prize is big, a horde of lottery fanatics will play, and the chances of sharing the big prize are very high. Indeed, it doesn't make sense to win the big jackpot and then only taking home just one third of the money. It is just the equivalent of winning when the jackpot is less attractive. Sure, you can wait to play when the draw's jackpot is at its highest to make the most out of your ticket. But what is the guarantee that the jackpot is going up the next draw? In short, waiting is just pointless. As soon as your savings are enough, go out and play. Notice the word savings. That's because you should play the lottery responsibly. It will help if you don't play every draw. You should save money for your lottery entertainment. Myth number 8. Birth dates, anniversaries, ages are poor numbers. Some experts tell players to avoid them. If those numbers are part of an effective lottery strategy, then they are not bad at all. But, if you don't know what you are doing, then those numbers become useless. Your best move is to pick the numbers based on the best pattern and not worry about other things, dates, ages, etc. Myth number 9. Selecting your numbers using pretty patterns. The lottery is a random game. It knows no beauty. If you pick numbers based on pretty patterns, then don't anticipate a victory party. Do you think any pretty patterns will have any chance in the lottery? Yes, selecting numbers during a lotto play is hard, but it's highly recommended that you put more effort into your number selection process. It's worth the effort. Sure, math is not everyone's cup of tea. In which case, grab someone's shoulder who knows their ways around numbers. Or you can use a lottery codex calculator and see what works in your lotto game system. The majority of the lotto players are clueless about how the number system works during a random draw. The Powerball website unknowingly reveals how 70% to 80% of players are doing it wrong. And this brings us to the next myth. Myth number 10. Quick Pick Machine gives you better chances of winning. Most Quick Pick Machines installed in your local lottery shop mainly produce numbers on a random algorithm and a random selection is just playing the lottery without a strategy. It will be best if you always implement a strategy to your game plan because that's where fun begins. Number selection is part of the excitement. A quick pick machine doesn't give you that much fun. Some people ask that most of the winners we hear from the news are coming out by quick pick machine. 
Does this not enough proof that the quick pick machine works? The short answer is no. Many are winning by quick pick machine because the number of players who use it is higher than those who pick numbers by hand. Here's the long answer. The number of players winning by a quick pick machine is not the right gauge to prove that it can give you a better chance of winning. Once in the old Powerball website said this, about 70% to 80% of winners are computer picks. Perhaps just one of those weird coincidences? If we follow the official statement we found on the Powerball website, we get that. Probability, quick pick, equals 80% of winners over 80% of purchases. Probability, player pick, equals 20% of winners over 20% of purchases. Therefore, the official Powerball website only means that the chances of those who use the quick pick machine and those who pick numbers by hand are just the same. Perhaps, the main thing that you need to understand is that you don't have control when you use the quick pick machine. For one thing, a machine has no common sense. It just picks numbers randomly for you without analyzing the numbers. If you pick your numbers, then you have better control in selecting your numbers. The MIT students didn't use the quick pick machine when they monopolized the Massachusetts cash windfall in 2005. They took advantage of the lottery's weakness and profited $8 million from it for seven years. The majority of these students majored in mathematics. Interestingly, they did not win the big jackpot, but winning $8 million in seven years isn't a joke. They know better than anyone else. How did they do it? While others save time using the quick pick machine, these MIT students were busy using their prodigious math skills filling out lotto slip oval by oval. By generating their numbers, they knew they could produce a broader range of covering. A quick pick machine is not capable of this approach. Conclusion. What is the best way to win the lottery? Make an intelligent decision. A true lottery strategy is mathematical. It should allow you to see all the possible lines to help you make the right choice. A lottery codex calculator will help you calculate all the possible choices in your game. It finally helps you make the right choice to give you the best ratio of success to failure. There's no trick to winning a lotto game. You can waste money, or you can play smart. For more information, please visit lotterycodex.com.